innovation in finance, in any activity actually, has to lead infrastructure. Because under uncertainty, we don't know what is, what is going to be successful, what activity is going to be successful. If we build all the controls necessary to support an activity before we know the activity is going to be successful and the activity fails, we've wasted a lot of money. On the other hand, uh, that means that sometimes we're going to have failures. And basically, we're going to have failures, and we're going to have a lot of failures due in part to little infrastructure. Okay? For example, war generals love to be way ahead of ordnance generals, people who supply, ordnance people. Hunters and farmers don't get along. Hunters like to go hunt. They like to know where to meet us. They like to go and innovate and create. So in Silicon Valley, where I live, there's tons of hunters. They don't like control. <laughs> so the idea of figuring out how can they do things on their self to be able to innovate and create is that big data, all the activities, are really the new frontier. So the controls, the mechanisms behind it are not in place. So we will have failures. Different startups fail all the time. It's not necessarily the attitude as in Silicon Valley, it's all right to fail on a startup, but it, having an having a objective and making trials along the way to learn, okay, that what's going to work. So it's not just failing, it's the idea of what you learn from the experiments that you take. Because in our area, in finance, it's research and development is misnomer. It's research and testing. It's development and testing. It's a whole feedback system. So it's a continually learning system in terms of innovation. So we want to do things, the, the hunter wants to do things faster. He wants to fight wars. Ordnance people want to get together, make sure they got the supplies, make sure that everything is supplied, everything is orderly. And there's always a fight between ordnance and between innovation. Both are necessary. Great leaders know how to balance the two between innovation, letting the hunters go and create new things under uncertainty and innovate in these areas, but at the same time having enough controls to be able to make sure that the war general doesn't get too far ahead of the supply. Because you lose. If the war general gets too far ahead of the supply, they'll be naked without any clothes or without any ammunition, you know, and unfortunately they won't survive. But you know, on the other hand, you don't want the world to be involved just with people sitting around and ordinance people not fighting, not doing anything. And so basically we had under Lincoln in the United States, in terms of the Civil War, that one of his generals, in fact was leading the war for a couple of years, never fought, just sat there, and trained his troops, they had great food and outfits, they loved him, but he never fought. So Lincoln had to replace him, he was a great ordinance general, he wasn't a fighter, had to replace him. So in the organization, you have to think about replacing how to create innovation under uncertainty, realizing that infrastructure cannot be in place to support innovation because infrastructure and government activities are part of that and governance is part of that activity is really to say, let's make things slow, let's regularize things, let's make things inflexible. You know, so you got, that you got this trade-off because regularization and inflexibility and being slow Ordinance people know what to do. So when you have your faculty member at the school, Gamwon University, then you spend all your time trying to do research and teaching, and you don't like what the dean's saying, but the dean wants structure and order and make the whole place tend to work. Same thing with students, obviously wanting to have innovation and new, new things. So um, the idea of really thinking about the paradox of governance, which is very important because we're going to see so many changes ahead is see whether the regulations and rules are going to be in place to be able to understand exactly these things that are happening ahead. But really we have strong governance protects property rights, protects society. We want strong rules and governance. But those in strong governance themselves can take for themselves or, or waste controls, waste resources in the system. It's a paradox of every firm, paradox of your businesses or activities you're going to be involved in. And that's going to be important.